ಜಗನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿಪ್ರದಂ ದೇವ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಶಿವನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿಪ್ರದ ಕ್ಷಮಾಪೂರ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಹಂ ಸಾಖ್ಯಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆನಂದಾನುಭವಾಸ್ವಾದ ಸರ್ವರೋಗ ನಿವಾರಕ ವಂದೇ ಪಾಪ ವಿನಾಶಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ನಮ್ಮ ಯುಗದ ಒಬ್ಬ ಅಭೂತಪೂರ್ವ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಂತಾರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಸಮಾಜದ ಆಂದೋಲನದ ಸಂಸ್ಥಾಪಕರು ಆಧುನಿಕ ವೈದಿಕ ನವೋದಯದ ಪ್ರಥಮ ಅನ್ವೇಷಕ ಪವಿತ್ರ ಊರಾದ ತಿರುವಣ್ಣಾಮಲೈನಲ್ಲಿ ಜನ್ಮ ತಾಳಿದ ಒಬ್ಬ ಯೋಗಿ ಕೆಚ್ಚೆದೆಯ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಸಂಶೋಧಕ ದೈವ ಶಕ್ತಿಯ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶಕ ಜ್ಯೋತಿ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಇಂದು ಪ್ರಾಚೀನ ರಹಸ್ಯಾರ್ಥ ಯೋಗ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನದ ಪಥದಲ್ಲಿರುವ ಲಕ್ಷಾಂತರ ನಿಪುಣರಿಗೆ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿದಾಯಕರಾಗಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕತೆಯ ವಿಜ್ಞಾನದ ಸಂಶೋಧನಾಕಾರ ಆತ್ಮ ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ಕಾರ ತೋರುವ ಗುರುಗಳು ಅವರ ವಿವೇಕದ ಸಂಪತ್ತು ಅವರ ನಗುವಿನ ಆ ಸಂತಸ ಹಾಗೂ ಅವರ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯ ದೀಕ್ಷೆಯ ಶಕ್ತಿಯನ್ನು ಪ್ರತಿ ವರ್ಷ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಪ್ರಪಂಚದಾದ್ಯಂತ ಸುಮಾರು ಒಂದು ಕೋಟಿ ಜನರೊಡನೆ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಳ್ಳುತ್ತಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಗ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಜೀವನ್ಮುಕ್ತಿಯ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಆನಂದಮಯ ಜೀವನಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಪರಿಹಾರಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತನಾಡಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಮರೆಯಲಾರದ ಆಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮಿಕ ಅನುಭವವನ್ನು ಕೈಗೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ organs combination of muscles blood cells all the biological parts suddenly gets the capacity to perceive things but assumes not only perception all other qualities of life is available to them independently or sense organs example eyes it's a combination of little bit of nerves muscles blood some more biological items it has the capacity of seeing but unfortunately because continuously it is able to see it starts assuming all the things seen by him are under his control assuming more capabilities more powers than the reality is the basic fallacy of organs that is why i want to call them nonsense organs the word nonsense organs will be more meaningful than the word sense organs as long as they are clear about what they can do and what they can't do they are sense organs see if you are very clear eyes can see ears can hear tongue can taste nose can smell if you are very clear you won't have hangover all right while you are alive they are all functioning when you shut them they are all dead over the whole problem is over there's no question of rebirth carrying the hangover from the 
this janma to next are carrying the hangover of two months before activities to now all those things does not even come into picture problem is solved but it is not that simple way happening by and by constantly seeing i assume it can control the scene that is why you start having choice the moment you say i have a choice i want to see some of this and i don't want to see some of this you already assumed the kartrutva bhagavan very clearly says you have only the right to work you have only the capacity power to work not for the result by and by the eyes start feeling it can control what it wants to see and what it doesn't want to see and then next step the choice starts happening and this eyes will have its own foolish logic to make you believe it can control ramakrishna used to tell very beautifully suddenly one day one foolish frog started believing that this fellow has become very rich because he got 1 rupee coin and everybody has to respect him so he brought that 1 rupee coin and kept in his small house usually the underground they will have a small hole done he kept that 1 rupee coin outside his hole one elephant was walking through that way after taking bath in the river that fellow the frog has started kicking his leg towards the elephant's direction and shouting eh you are not respecting me you don't know from yesterday i became rich see my money see my money <laughs> that elephant does not even know what is going on here just like that foolish frog trying to control the elephant just really the frog is feeling eh i have become rich see the proof this fellow is legally justifying he is rich and he has to be respected by the poor elephant who doesn't have 1 rupee kalpataru uttama aarogyada aashirwadavannu kandukolli anaarogyada moola kaaranavannu alisi haaki nimma chaitanyada mattavannu 1300 ಪ್ರತಿಶತ ದಷ್ಟು ಹೆಚ್ಚಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಅದ್ವಿತೀಯ ಅವತಾರ ಪುರುಷರಾದ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರಿಂದ ವೈಯಕ್ತಿಕವಾಗಿ ಆಶೀರ್ವದಿಸಲ್ಪಟ್ಟ ಒಂದು ದಿನದ ಪರಿವರ್ತನಾಕಾರಕ ಹಾಗೂ ಉಪಶಮನಕಾರಕವಾದ ಒಂದು ಅನನ್ಯ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಹಾಗೂ ದೀಕ್ಷೆಗಳ ಶಕ್ತಿಯ ಬಳಕೆಯನ್ನು ಕಂಡುಕೊಂಡು ಕುಂಡಲಿಗೆ ಜಾಗೃತಗೊಳ್ಳುವಿಕೆಯ ಒಂದು ಇಳುಕು ನೋಟದಿಂದ ಶಾಶ್ವತವಾದ ದೈಹಿಕ ಹಾಗೂ ಮಾನಸಿಕ ಪರಿವರ್ತನೆಯನ್ನು ಅನುಭವಿಸಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಆರೋಗ್ಯಕ್ಕೆ ಮೊದಲನೆಯ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಕಲ್ಪತರು ನಿಮ್ಮ ಭವಿಷ್ಯವನ್ನು ರೂಪಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪ್ರತಿ ವಾರಾಂತ್ಯದಲ್ಲಿ ಸ್ಥಳ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ಪೀಠ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ನಗರ ಬಿಡದಿ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಸೇಮ್ ವೇ ಯು ಆರ್ ಐಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಯು ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಂಟ್ರೋಲ್ the scenes when you have a choice why don't you start choosing the choice where all the crimes originate whole life is alchemy when the seed mud manure all three four different things are coming together suddenly the alchemy of plant is happening same way the grains from the plants the grain water fire salt when all of them are coming together the alchemy of cooking is happening when the food your intestine blood prana all of them are coming together alchemy of digestion is happening whole life is alchemy same way when the muscles flesh blood nervous system when all these things are coming 
the alchemy of extraordinary powers like a seeing listening tasting are happening but unfortunately you don't stop with those powers if you are simply flowing with those powers you will radiate so much of intelligence a man who is simply seeing the man who is simply tasting the man who is simply listening the man who is simply enjoying the physical sex the man who is simply smelling without carrying the hangover will radiate so much of intelligence unfortunately your senses feels they are lord of life they are only tools of life not lord of life same way when all these five senses are put together suddenly a wrong alchemy happens sense of doership sense of doership is a broomstick created by the five sticks of senses when you remove that five senses separately there is no broomstick but when you put them together you call that as broomstick sense of doership is the wrong alchemy happens when these five senses are put together if you understand other than that five senses there is no sense of doership that understanding expresses itself as intelligence it is really unfortunate human beings the car which they use maybe few hours in a day they want to know so much about it the house in which they live few hours a day they want to know so much about it the food they eat thrice a day they want to know so much about it the tv they watch for few hours for entertainment they want to know so much about it the places that they never are going to visit in their life they want to know so much about all those places it is so unfortunate which is their very own their sense organs their very body they don't want to know anything about it they neither have interest nor have time are bothered the body in which you are living the life which you are experiencing every human being by the time he is 14 all his sense organs will be fully awakened active and alive you should find out other than the sense organs actions is there any doership in me the doership which i am assuming presuming does it have any basis the choices with which i am functioning or the idea that i have choices which i am having does it have any base the moment a child is physically matured by 14 almost every child will be physically matured where all five senses are functioning then he should be taught to sit and contemplate minus his eyes how he feels means without seeing what he feels about himself without hearing what he feels about himself one by one each sense should be shut and he should contemplate on the experience of himself doership he should discover within one year when five senses are shut the doership does not have individual existence ಓರ್ವ ಅವತಾರ ಪುರುಷರಿಂದ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಜೀವನಕ್ಕೆ ದಿವ್ಯ ಮಾರ್ಗದರ್ಶನ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಬೇಕೇನು ಪ್ರಸ್ತುತ ಪಡಿಸುತ್ತಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಕರೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಪರಮಹಂಸರೊಡನೆ ಮುಖಾಮುಖಿ 
ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಂ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಇಡಿಯೇ ಇಡೀ ಜಗತ್ತಿಗೆ ಪರಮಹಂಸ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದರು ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಅಪೂರ್ವವಾದ ಹಾಗೂ ಅಸದೃಶವಾದ ಉಡುಗೊರೆಯನ್ನು ನೀಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಪ್ರತಿದಿನ ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ನಡೆಯುವ ಸತ್ಸಂಗದ ಸಮಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆಗಳಿಗೂ ನೇರವಾಗಿ ಉತ್ತರ ನೀಡಲು ಅವರು ಲಭ್ಯವಿರುವರು ಬೆಳಿಗ್ಗೆ ಎಂಟು ಗಂಟೆಯ ನಂತರ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ನೈನ್ ಒನ್ ಏಟ್ ಜೀರೋ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಟೂ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ ಡಬಲ್ ನೈನ್ಗೆ ಕರೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜಿ ಅವರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಮಾತನಾಡುವ ಅದೃಷ್ಟ ನಿಮ್ಮದಾಗಿಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳಿ ಹಾಗೂ ಎನ್ ಟಿ ವಿ ಡಾಟ್ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಡಾಟ್ ಓಆರ್ಜಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಇದರ ನೇರ ಪ್ರಸಾರವನ್ನು ವೀಕ್ಷಿಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಲೆಸನ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಟಾಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೇ ಶುಡ್ ಮೇಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ this should be one of the basic lessons of living in the body it's like knowing how to press the brake if you know everything about the car and you don't know where is the brake and how to press the brake where are you going to end where all of us are ending just like grown up men entering into the body and starting come on press the accelerator speed up now you know everything how to switch on the front light how to switch on the back light how to handle the front camera back camera <laughs> even the how to use the wiper <laughs> but you don't know how to press the brake unfortunately you have a life in your body and because of that fuel is not getting finished the eternal supply of fuel just imagine you are in this car god you should be continuously screaming and asking for help please somebody teach me how to stop the brake how to stop this car how to press the brake yes everything is okay till it goes and hits something one hit the whole thing collapses in indian villages the season business walas see the mango season the mango sellers will have only the season business only in that season they will have the business many mango sellers after the season is over they will become doctors in villages <laughs> not siddha doctor or ayurveda no allopathy doctor they will start doing injections the same way making ganesha and selling it's a season business during ganesha chaturthi they will have the business after that they will become veterinary doctors <laughs> and same way selling and buying cows and bulls that is also a season business during the deepam festival in tirunamalai there will there will be huge market that selling and buying that brokers cow brokers who sell and buy cows and bulls after that season is over they will become mechanic if you give your car to this kind of mechanic <laughs> if you give your body to this kind of doctors if you give your animals to this kind of veterinary doctors not knowing the field and entering into it how dangerous it is <laughs> for you and for others still in indian villages doctors are classified usi doctor marund doctor periya doctor usi doctor means the doctor knows only to put injection marund doctor means the doctor knows only to give medicine periya doctor means doctor who knows everything including surgery in this only the periya doctor is a doctor who has studied mbbs <laughs> all others are part time doctors no if you are going to this type of doctors then understand where you are heading same way only without knowing how to press the brake you are driving your body where are you going to head sometimes you create disease without even knowing your body how you enter into living what a danger god the next technical term in this verse internal organ of perception i just started defining few words emotion the energy which gets converted as excitement and makes the motion happen in you is emotion <laughs> joy 
the small vacation you give for yourself after continuous natural torture you do to yourself pain the payment you give for being in is pain first like when you learn any subject how you are given a dictionary when you learn english you are given english dictionary when you learn tamil you are given a tamil dictionary when you learn sanskrit you are given a sanskrit dictionary same way when you learn life you should be given life dictionary where is life dictionary internal organ of perception is the spark came out of your life source making organs alive and perceive process information understand this example A heap of rice after digestion a fly is continuously sitting between these two the rice after digestion is your organs the heap of rice is your self means the cosmic self life source this bee which is moving continuously makes this heap of rice after digestion feel it has life that is internal organ of perception because this fly is moving so fast between these two this heap also starts feeling i am also alive i am also being eaten by somebody but actually that heap is not being eaten by the bee heap is getting spoiled by the bee constantly sitting here after sitting there if continuously it is sitting here there here there here there what happened whatever is stuck in his leg it will come here after 100 times this whole heap of rice will look little yellowish now unless visually i describe i will you understand that b is internal organ of perception what we call chakshu when it sits on the eyes we call it shrotra when it sits on the ears we call it grana when it sits on the nose we call it sparsha when the b sits on the touch chakshu shrotra jihva we call it jihva when it sits on the mouth that is internal organ of perception kinnate nimannu kollutide bhavishyavannu edarisalu nimage bhayavagutide nimma hindina nenapugalu nimannu kaarutide ivellakku moola karana baalyadindale samajavu nimmalli sushtisiruva nakaratmakavada manohitti andare samskaragalu ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆಗಳಿಂದ ಹೊರಬರಲು ಒಂದೇ ಮಾರ್ಗವೆಂದರೆ ಈ ನಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಮನೋವೃತ್ತಿಗಳನ್ನು ನಾಶಗೊಳಿಸುವುದು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸ್ಫುರಣ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಪ್ರಬಲಯುಕ್ತವಾದ ಧ್ಯಾನ ತಂತ್ರಗಳ ಹಾಗೂ ಪ್ರಕ್ರಿಯೆಗಳ ಮೂಲಕ ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿ ಆಳವಾಗಿ ಬೇರೂರಿರುವ ನಕಾರಾತ್ಮಕ ಮನೋವೃತ್ತಿಗಳಿಂದ ಮುಕ್ತಗೊಳ್ಳಲು ಸಹಾಯ ಮಾಡುತ್ತದೆ this four days i am going to remove those engraved memories from you magu agiddaga neevu anubhavisida aa nirmalavada mugdhate aanandavannu matte kandukollalu ondu mahatvaravada avakasha dinanka march 1 rinda 4 2012 sthala nityananda dhyana peetha nityananda puri nityananda nagara mysore raste bidadi bengaluru dooravani sankhe 1800425223 ಶಂಗಿರಿ 
शस्ते विभस्तवे शिवांगिरे ಸಹಸ್ರಶೋಭೈ ಸಾಧು ಹೇಡೀಮಹೆ ಅಸೌ ಯೋ ಬಸರ್ಪತಿ ನೀಲಕ್ರಿ ಗೋವಿ ಲ